Welcome back everyone to Pineleaf Plays the Runekeeper. And let's have a little talk to Morg, Mogur, whatever, the foreman of the 21st Hall. Perhaps soon we shall stand face to face with Lord Berlin. Welcome, welcome. Is not the 21st Hall the grandest sight of all Casa Doom? We have encountered no dangers here whatsoever. And I take this to be a sign that the dwarves have won Zelimelech. We have established a great footfold here, and you are just in time for the celebration. If you would be so kind, please distribute ale to the fine dwarves who have done such great work here. They have earned it. Alright, so I have one dwarf asking me to go about and prepare for a siege and another one to tell me let's go distribute ale for a celebration how is that now let's see about this guy hello there I doubt that Lord Barley still lives greetings fine rune keeper I am Dari and I hail from the lonely mountain it is hard to believe we are truly trading this ancient treading the ancient paths of Casa Doom, is it not? It is enough to kindle a flame in the heart of even the stoniest dwarf. There is one thing in which I have particular interest. The mirrors you have seen about the 21st Hall. I believe there are four of them, and I have a theory about what they are for. Could you go and record some information about the mirrors, such as rotation, location, and so forth? I would like to study what you find, because I can't go and go to the mirrors myself. Of course not. All right, first thing we want to do is to... Greetings, friend. Are you lost? Celebrations already? This is a grand news. I was not aware that we have made such great strides here, but I will take this as a sight of success. Thank you. And thank the foreman also. All right, so you can see that they are... All assuming that if the foreman thinks it's time to celebrate, it, that it's time to celebrate. The Lords of Moria have returned! I do not need my wits about me for this easy spot. Guard duty in this hall is nothing. Not an enemy in sight. <sighs> Ever heard of a surprise attack? of Moria have returned! Ale from, from Foreman Mogar? Now? Is it really safe that I can drink ale while on watch? Well, I suppose, as Foreman thinks it is, then there's no harm in it. Uh, right. Well. And now, you know... Why the dwarves aren't going to be able to hold on to this place very long. They become very easily <laughs> overconfident. And that's the first mirror. And let's see, we want to find more wherever the rest of the dwarves are at. Yeah, let's take care of some of the rest of the ale. Ah, here's one right here. Welcome to Casa Doom. Ale for Mogar? While I am tasked with repairs? Well, I suppose there can be no harm in that. What's the rush anyhow? You can see. If you're a foreman, you're supposed to be getting people to want to work, not encouraging them to drink on the job. Welcome to Casa Doom. Foreman Mogger sent us ale? How thoughtful. Is, is he that confident if his hall is secure? Then so am I. Pour me a drink. Right. And one more, I believe. Oh, actually, I think he's on the inside. Ah. That's the trickiest thing about the 21st Hall is... Yeah, here we go. Ale delivery! 
The Lords of Moria have returned. Hmm, well now. I was about to sit repairing to the scaffolding, but I suppose I can wait, eh? Alright, pour me a glass. Very well, now that everybody is tipsy, we can give some to Rain. May Durin return soon to his halls. By Durin's beard! What is Foreman Mulgar about? No ale for me, thank you. I must stay sharp. Is that fool of a dwarf letting down his guard already? While it is true that there have been some, no intrusions upon our work here, and that we make great progress, I do not believe Zelimelech is safe yet. The day of the dwarves is coming. Poo! Poo! Rain is clever, to be sure, but he was always spoils everything with the zeal of overcaution. All right. Oh, glorious day! We shall soon restore Moria. I grow weary of Rain's constant fretting. His open complaints are bad for business here, you know. How about this? You are new here and unbiased. Why not patrol the wide hall? If it is free of enemies, Rain must put his fears to rest. I believe this is a fair compromise. If I am right, my dwarves can celebrate their victory without hesitation. All right. So let us go and do some patrols. And we'll begin with this side. No enemies inside. Hey, oh, what is this? Wait a minute, this is an arrow. What's it what's an orc arrow doing here? Hmm, I wonder how old these arrows are. Well the wood is still intact. Can't be that old of an arrow. Well, I know that there are well, I know that there are orcs, of course, in other places as Zelimelech. I've killed a few there, but this shows that there have been orcs around. Now, why are orcs dropping arrows here? That is, of course, another question. Well, all right, we'll check the west side. And, or is this, oh, whatever side this is. Yeah, west side. All right, and there we go. All right, no enemies in sight, but wait, what is this? <laughs> the torches around the south arch have been blown out, and a chill draft near the hall to the is fills you with a bit of dread. Well, yeah, that's because there are bunches of orcs down in that direction. Now, I know I've seen orcs down that way. All right, let's see. Well, uh, let's light a few torches. We need some light around here. Oh, speaking of light, there's that mirror quest I still have also. And a few more torches here. Any more torches? Torches. Oh. Uh, how did I miss that? Must have had... I must have sampled some of that ale. That's what I must have done. That explained how I missed it. Shouldn't it go around? Sampling the ale when I'm delivering it to the dwarves. Alright, now let's try the west side. That's right, that was the south one I just did there. Ah, Sometimes you get a little turned around here. But of course, also I have this mirror to check out. Hey, mirror, mirror in the corner. Alright, alright, alright. What rhymes with corner? 
I really can't. Yeah, all right. Well, here we go. There are no enemies in sight, but you cannot help but notice a great deal of rubble in this particular section of the 21st hall. You should investigate the rubble to see if the dwarves should be concerned about the stability of the ceiling. All right. I suppose I can do that. Right. It says, oh, oh, that rubble. For rubble that catches my eye, I certainly had to go out of my way in order to find it. This rubble indicates instability of the structure of the hall. All right. <laughs> Getting quest credit for... <laughs> quest credit notices called this rubble indicates instability. That is really... <laughs> I think they probably should have said exam. <laughs> I think the examined should. You said examined there. All right. Twenty-first hall appears to have a widespread issue of a crumbling ceiling. While no enemies lurk here, it is clear that there is much work to be done in order to make the hall livable once more. Yes. That's right. So now that we've finished our little tour there, let us take care of the mirrors. There are two more mirrors we need to check. And here's one right here. Hello, mirror. Let me take your stats. Survey over. Well, sur survey for that mirror is over. Now let's go back down to one more. And I'm hoping that maybe we could get to 57, which might be a good place to Head into the flaming deeps. And also, that will give me my... Another trade point to spend. Alright. Uh. Mirror! The first mirror. Show you how much in order I did that if I did the first mirror last. I don't think I ever noticed that they were actually numbered when you clicked on them. Shows you how much I've been paying attention to that quest. Alright, now let's turn in all this stuff. A gleam in the gloom. Ah. Alright, checked all the mirrors. It is said that Durin's Bane dwells here, though we have not seen it. Well, I saw it in a flashback. Does that count? Uh, good work, Finestone. Now let me take a look at the recordings you made. I doubt that Lord Balin still lives. According to your own documentation, the mirrors seem to be pointed at one another from the four corners of the 21st Hall. The only one that doesn't match the others is the third. I wonder. Would you be so good as to return to the third mirror and give it a little push? I would like to see what happens if the angles align. All right, fine. And oh yes, this guy. Uh, all right, no orcs, but I found these arrows. All right. The day of the dwarves is coming. Yep. It's clear pathways, but also the glaring problems we observed in the 21st hall. No enemies, just as I said. Did you see it, Rain? It is time to quit your crusade against the folks celebrating their victory of claiming Zelimelech for the expedition. The time has come to drive forth the orcs from our kingdom. Are you blind, Mugger? Pinestone reported many other things amiss. Crumbling supports, filth everywhere, and evidence of orcs or goblins came through not long ago. Oh, and... Whee! Nah, nice little leveling tree. Sort of answered a question put up by Brannock yesterday when we were recording Lotro Academy about do you get that tree every level? I thought that once you hit a certain level, you get every level. That sort of seems to support that 
proposition. All right, let's see what else he has to say. Welcome to Casa Doom. <laughs> Those arrows could be from any time, really. One year or a hundred. No, I think the shafts would have brought it if it were a hundred years. I do not see what your discovery signifies, but I thank you for your efforts just the same. And? Hear me out, friend, for I have a tale of glory to tell. All right, oh, you're fixing the squeaky wheel. He wants... No, we're not going to go out with rain at the moment. What I'm going to do... And no, I'm not going to go celebrating a birthday party either. What I am going to do is head out to that mirror. And let's take care of that. Onward. And one well, thing. Oh, not that, not that, not that. Oops. Uh, well, okay, well, I have to turn that off later. You certainly don't want to port to the 21st hall while I am in the 21st hall. That would be rather silly. Alright, this is the third mirror, so I'll just dismount. Alright, here we go. And let's have a look at the third mirror. Line it up a little bit. And report my findings. And see if everything works nice and well. Now what I really wanted to do is to look at... Alright. Well, updating your traits at this... Updating your traits at the same time that you're moving is probably not the wisest maneuver you can do. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four, so I just need one more, and then I'll unlock my runestone here. Do I need, do I need will, or do I need evade? Well, the way things keep on hitting me, let's go for evade. Alright, uh, okay, one, two, three, four, five. Hoping that unlocks. That we'll see next time. <laughs> Alright, check the mirror. It is said that Durin's bane dwells here. Aha! I have not seen it. Oh, aha, light! I knew it! The mirrors are an ancient light system in Moria. This technology is brilliant, but it has long been forgotten. That is an incredible discovery. Alright then, we get some vitality. Well, I'll just grab the ring. Take care of that. And next time... Next... These halls will be great once more. Next time, we'll pick things up at... Anazar Mechem, which is the flame in the flaming deeps, and over there we will take care of these iron bars and wooden slats. But that is for the next episode of Pineleaf Plays, the Runekeeper.